Hi, Lee here. So, quick update where we are so far and some of the things I did off camera. Now, obviously we've rooted all the pickup holes, as you've seen. But I've also put 10mm uh, holes in and mounted the machine heads. So, I don't know if you can see that, the machine heads are now in, uh, which is good. So today I'm going to be doing the electronics. So I bought an electronics kit in which they've given me the full instructions on how to wire this up. And I've got my pots and other components. So hopefully by the end of today, I should be able to get the strings on and try and set the guitar up and, and it should all be working. So wish me luck, let's get on with the soldering and get this done. Right, so a couple of things I've immediately noticed that I'm going to have to modify before I can carry on with this. So first of all, I've decided I want to move the pickup selector to the back. Uh, that's a traditional sort of modification for Telecasters. So you can do volume swells easier. You put the volume on the front and the selector switch on the back. Uh, usually it would be the other way around. But I've noticed straight away these pots don't actually fit through the holes. So they're a lot bigger than the holes that they're supposed to go in. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill out these to make them a bit bigger. Uh, but not only that, the knobs I have don't fit over the pot shafts either. So I'm going to have to sort of rub those down and make those wider so they can fit over the top. So there's a few things I need to do, some modifications, before I can carry on. Uh, the final thing, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the guitar was a slightly more golden colour. That's because I actually found some furniture polish, uh, beeswax furniture polish, and I've put a thin layer of that onto the body, and it really shines and looks good now. So let me crack on and get these modifications done to both the plate and also to the knobs and then we can get these pots fitted into the plate and then I can carry on with the wiring. So I've clamped the electronics plate to my trusty drill. I've put a 10 millimeter drill bit in because that's the size of the thread uh, on the pot. So let's cut these holes in this uh, plate and then we can carry on and we can get uh, carry on with the next step. So I've made the holes bigger in the control plate, so now I can put these pots in. Uh, this should work okay now, they're big enough, and I'll screw these in. So a couple more things I want to point out just before I uh, get going with the soldering. Um, the electronics kit I received actually also comes with a treble bleed network. So it's just to try and stop um, the treble loss when you're playing with the volume control. So I'm going to try and fit that little bleed circuit as well. Uh, it goes onto the volume pot uh, in between the hot output to the uh, yeah the hot output to the jack. So I think that's going to be the very first thing I try and do is put that little treble bleed in. Uh, that'd be uh, my practice. <laughs> I'm not very good at soldering. I never really do this. Uh, I'm just having a go. So 
So there we have it, this is as much as I can do without the guitar. So the next step is to start putting the pickups in, routing the cables through the guitar body, and then soldering everything to this volume pot. Uh, just as a top tip, as you can see I'm just using a box that I'll put some holes in the top, uh, so it makes it easy to keep this supported. Uh, but this looks pretty good. One thing I have noticed with my soldering iron, um, I was reading everywhere to do it on the tip, but this soldering iron just isn't hot enough on the tip, so I've actually had to move it up a bit more where the metal's thicker to get the heat to melt it. Uh, but once I'd worked that out, it was pretty simple. Well, I say that now, I've not tested it yet, but everything's on, nothing looks ruined. Um, so the next step, let's get the guitar body and we'll uh, route the pickups and solder those on too. So far I've put the pickups in and routed the wires through, uh, but I almost forgot to put the shielding uh, inside here. So what I'm doing is I've just got some of this copper tape uh, that I'm just gonna put around uh, the control cavity, uh, obviously to try and stop the noise and interference. So as you can see, I've jumped ahead a bit. I've already put the electronics in now, screwed it all down. I've even put some strings on and just went up a basic setup uh, just to get the guitar in tune and playable. So the final job to finish this off is, if you remember, these stalks uh, on the control knobs uh, are too thick uh, for the knobs I've bought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and file these down inside uh, and put those on and hopefully that'll finish the guitar. So let's get on and do that and then I can try and test it.